Hello, it's me. Uh, so, so I try. Um, I'm actually back in the car that um, I kind of started out my videos in. Ouch. Um, um, I, I don't want to get really, like, up and passionate about things, because... The, the thing about talking is that, like, when I start tar talking, like, I'm talking to a person, and, um, it's, it's not really the best to cheat people, certainly, sometimes. It's, it's best not to say too much. But, um... I miss my daughter and I'm afraid to say that because when I say that people think I'm lying and they start laughing at me missing my daughter and and then it looks like I'm using her and honestly I don't know anymore I was, uh, I was going through my phone and some old photos and things, and, um, she, I, yeah, have a video of her, um, when she's crawling, and, uh, video of her, that uh, has some pictures of her. I want to print the pictures, but, that, that will take some time. The thing about um when I get upset is that I I start losing hope that I can change. And I start losing hope that my soul can be saved. Like I've gotten so far down there. I've gotten so loud, so obnoxious, so unrelatable. There's no one there to like bring me back down you know and i spent so much of my time doing that for other people it's kind of scaring me now and and then it seems like i'm putting on a show for everyone so i don't even know what to think anymore what am i supposed to do What am I supposed to do if what I'm doing is not right? Then what am I supposed to do? You, you can't make a person um, have an emotion that you do. Unless it is brought about in agreement. And, uh, love and gentleness. <sighs> the thing about sounds is that, um, they, where did words come from? Like, I like to believe that people started talking uh, in, in growing the, the language by what they were saying by being in pain and then it was like a conversation. They talked back and forth about they're like all in pain and 
they're they're trying to make sense of it and like oh there's a heart consonant sound that sounds like it's the beginning of something and then this sounds like it's the end of something and then this sounds like it carries the the word out longer it was originally like music that people made and it's I want to be careful about that because of the um, whole. Here's here's what I remember of the Bible is that um, in heaven there was a war before God created the earth and then created the Garden of Eden and um put the man he had formed in the garden before he did that he there was a war in heaven and it doesn't really say what about and i think the reason is that god knows once once we say it we start we start again and um that's how Knowledge is spread, is through, is through like, um, like I'll say a word and then the way you understand that word with the visuals that conjure up in your mind is, is how, how you understand what how to assess the environment here and now and it's it's not really wise to um completely take um reality out of um speech and learning and that that seems like it would be common sense that um, we would grow up in families that would, um, know that, that the, the dad would know that that would be a foundational part of his knowledge is that I cannot separate the fact that if my son puts his hand in, into the fire that um, his hand will get burned, like, that should be common sense, um, so separating reality from knowledge, because knowledge is knowing that we know that it is possible to put our hand in the fire, but common sense is um, not to keep my hand there, to take it away out of the fire. Once I feel the stinging sensation, once I feel that this is not going to sustain me and let me live a long life, that I'm going to lose my hand, that would be common sense is, do I need my hand? Should I have my hand? Um, can I have my hand? So I take my hand out of the thing trying to destroy it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's a Bible verse. It's, he who waters, he himself will be watered. So I am learning this too. I just, I have a terrible problem. I see with agony. I'm really trying to stop. It's very hard. Um, I think that's the busiest time I've said that, but common sense would be to stop. <laughs> um, so. Like, um, another, another thing about right now is that I'm in vehicle and, uh, 
common sense would let me know that once a vehicle stops after it's been stored for a while that there could be gas fumes building up in the chamber so it shouldn't stay in the car yes that is common sense but also um i've done this so much because i i need a place to to go that i can say something that somebody's not going to immediately look at me and say oh stop stop saying that because that happens a lot and i get it um we as humans we have a need to when we see um new growth going wild to immediately cut it out and that is important for taking care of the physical ground but when it's each other we have to be more careful about not just immediately snatching away what someone what they conjure up in their minds or um yeah god created all life that is loud and quiet and for that reason a person who knows that, I think they tend to have a more of a split personality because of that, because they know that. And it's confusing and we have to make sense of it. So making sense of it is proactively building a character of this is this character, this is what this character does. It could have just been somebody I saw saying something or, um, yeah. And it's differentiating it, separating the two personalities from each other. That's important to do because if we don't do that, then it's more of a false witness saying this person said this, but she also said this. And, um, it's it's not, it's not good to say that the same person that said one thing also said another thing that she didn't say that somebody else said. And, and the, the split personalities, um, I know both sides. I'm trying to empathize with both sides, but it's becoming me because I am embodying it and it's hard for me to tell um the parts of my personality that belong to me that are for me because I haven't had somebody pointing it out to me that that was me that that was me saying that or um in a way Gossiping has, I think, helped societies form and grow by um, helping the individual that they are talking about um, be that said character that they are. Um, and if it is true... If it is true that that is who they are and that is what they said, and that is what they did, then um, they are inevitably helping them mentally. Um, but it is still not good to gossip because um, I think God is trying to say, I don't want you to lose your mental focus, your mental clarity of who you are because I created you as separate from that person. And um, when I start thinking about all the things she did that were bad, then um, what it does in my mind is that I copy it 
And it's, it's not that I was that before and I'm still holding on to what I was before, but our mind is continually changing, continually growing. So it's, I am changing into that person as I'm talking about the bad things that they did. Therefore, in order for me to be the best person I can be, I need to say things about them that are edifying for everyone in the room or edifying for um, (laughs) myself or what I think would be edifying for them, but there is also knowing that um, what if they were there? Would they be all right with me saying that about them? Because it is, it's actually in the Old Testament where um, this passage of scripture where Jesus is talking about it's not good to reveal thy um hmm, thy mother's nakedness thy father's nakedness uh thy brother's nakedness thy sister's nakedness um or even thine own nakedness and that is the law in the old testament um because um what it does is it exposes the truth to a level that is very hard to handle. And um, if if a person is not ready for that level of um, knowledge about um, life, it can lead to being depressed, at least in myself. It can lead to me being depressed when I, I either am pushed or put myself in a place that is not, I'm not ready for. Um, like, okay. What if you could enter the sun? Um, I know I should not enter the sun because the sun is a burning ball of gas in the sky (laughs) and the planet that is very close to the sun has a high temperature so high that if a human went to the planet, they would not be able to survive very long because it's so hot. So going into the sun is even uh even more difficult to comprehend but i know that it might still be possible to do that but it's not but i also need to ask why should i do that is that reasonable is that edifying is that good for those around me for those who I'm um speaking with is it good for their life will it help their life is it um a bit of knowledge that they can know and they can springboard off of that (laughs) um to um another another creativity, another, um, idea that they may have, um, would that be something that we would need to know that someone could go into the sun? Um, and if it's, it's about what the person is willing to do who who needs who needs to know that because um it may be something astronomically cool to do 
but the person who's receiving that information may not necessarily express on the surface how um cool it may seem even though it they might be thinking this is awesome this is cool they may not have the expression at their disposal to um not necessarily disposal their expression at at arm's reach at at the grass to express to you in the way that you want them to to that that is cool um it's not necessarily that it's not it's just that it i don't know yeah you can't even see me anymore i'm in the dark <laughs> I'm talking about the sunset, but look at this great guys. That's the sunset. Anyway, I am in the dark now, so I <laughs> uh, you guys you take care. And I will try to think of more things to say later on. No bias.